welcome to this session. In this session, we'll discuss a question which says that solve the following system of equations using matrix method, and the system of equations is given to us as 5x plus 2y is equal to 4, 3x plus 2y is equal to 0. Now, before solving the solution of this question, we should know some results. First is. A system of equations can be written in matrix form Ax is equal to B, where A is coefficient matrix, X is variable matrix, and B is constant matrix. And second is, if determinant of matrix A is not equal to 0, then inverse of matrix A exists, and X is equal to A inverse into B, that is, matrix X is equal to inverse of matrix A into matrix B gives the solution of the equation. Now, these results will work out as a key idea for solving out the given question. Now, let us start with the solution of the given question. Here we are given system of equations and we have to solve it using matrix method. Now, from the key idea we know that a system of equations can be written in matrix form Ax is equal to B where A is coefficient matrix, X is variable matrix and B is constant matrix. Now, let us write the system of equations in matrix form, that is, in Ax is equal to B form, first of all, let us write the coefficient matrix A, and this is equal to a matrix whose elements are the coefficients of the given variables in the system of equations. Now, in this system of equations, the variables are given to us as x and y. So, here in the first column, we will write coefficients of variable x. Now, where the coefficients are 5 and 3. And in the second column, we will write coefficients of variable y that are 2 and 2. So, coefficient matrix A is equal to a matrix with elements in first row as 5, 2 and elements in second row as 3, 2. Now, let us write variable matrix X. Now, here we have two variables X and Y. So, they will be written in column matrix. So, variable matrix X is a column matrix, that is a matrix with single column having elements X and Y. Now, let us write constant matrix B. Now, in this system of equations, we have constants 4 and 0. So, constant matrix B is also column matrix, that is matrix having single column with elements 4 and 0. So, here we have found coefficient matrix A, variable matrix X and constant matrix B. So, we have written the given system of equations in matrix form that is in the form Ax is equal to B where A is the coefficient matrix X that is capital X is the variable matrix and B is the constant matrix. Now we have to find determinant of matrix A. Now this is the matrix A. 
So determinant of matrix A is equal to determinant with elements in first row as 5, 2 and elements in second row as 3, 2. So this is equal to 5 into 2 minus 3 into 2 which is equal to 10 minus 6 that is equal to 4. So determinant of matrix K is equal to 4 which is not equal to 0. Now from the team idea we know that if determinant of matrix A is not equal to 0 then the inverse of matrix A exists and x is equal to A inverse into B gives the solution of the equation. Now here determinant of matrix A is not equal to 0. So inverse of matrix A exists. Now let us find A inverse. Now here we can see that matrix A has two rows and two columns. So it is a 2 cross 2 matrix. Now we know that when A is any 2 cross 2 matrix of this form, then Inverse of matrix A is equal to 1 upon AD minus BC into matrix with elements in first row as D minus B and elements in second row as minus C A or we can write it as 1 upon determinant of matrix A into the matrix with elements in first row as D minus B and elements in second row as minus C A. Now this is the matrix A. So it is a 2 cross 2 matrix of this form. So here we have A is equal to 5, B is equal to 2, C is equal to 3 and D is equal to 2. So here we have inverse of matrix A is equal to 1 upon determinant of matrix A into matrix with elements in first row as D minus B that is 2 minus 2 and elements in second row as minus C A that is minus 3 5. Now we have already found determinant of matrix A that is equal to 4. So A inverse is equal to 1 upon determinant of matrix A that is 4 into matrix with elements in first row as 2 minus 2 and elements in second row as minus 3, 5. Now when we multiply each element of this matrix by scalar 1 by 4, so A inverse is equal to or we can say inverse of matrix A is equal to matrix with elements in first row as 2 upon 4 minus 2 upon 4 and elements in second row as minus 3 upon 4 and 5 upon 4. So inverse of A is a matrix with elements in first row as 1 upon 2 minus 1 upon 2 and elements in second row as minus 3 upon 4 and 5 upon 4. So we have found inverse of matrix A. Now we know that X is equal to A inverse into B gives the solution of the equation. Now this is the matrix X and this is the matrix B and this is inverse of matrix A. So we have written all these matrices. Now we have to multiply these two matrices and for multiplication of matrices we have to check that number of columns in first matrix should be equal to number of rows in second matrix. Now here you can see Dimension of first matrix is 2 cross 2 and 
dimension of second matrix is 2 plus 1. So, number of columns in first matrix is equal to number of rows in second matrix. So, we can multiply these two matrices and the resulting matrix would be of order 2 plus 1. Now, multiplying the matrices, we get a matrix with element in first row as one by two into four plus of minus one by two into zero. Here we have multiplied this row with this column and element in the second row will be minus 3 by 4 into 4 plus 5 by 4 into 0. Now further on solving, we get a column matrix that is a matrix having single column with elements 2 minus 3. Therefore, the variable matrix is equal to the column matrix having elements 2 minus 3. Now using equality of matrices, x is equal to 2 and y is equal to minus 3. So this is the required solution. And this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.